Hey y'all, welcome back to another reading, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Let's see what's going on with you guys. So I'm definitely feeling a very heavy energy in the collective. Um, something is coming to a close. You just have to hold on a little bit longer. I know y'all are tired of hearing that, you know, but with God, time is fluid and, you know, he clearly is in control. You the Garushku, God is in control of everything. So even with myself, even with myself, Divine Fan Masculine, man, I get so fucking tired of people, man. I, I really be tired of picking up on this energy because I'm just like, why is this energy even still here? You know, God got the power to do whatever it is he can do. But it's it's all about knowing that he's busy doing something all tied up. I'm just, it's so frustrating to not understand why, you know, somebody just won't get the fuck out of your life. Like, they, they will not get out of your business. Me, myself, I don't have a problem walking away from nobody. You ain't even got to fuck me or you ain't got to do nothing. Once I feel a certain kind of way about you, I'm walking away from you completely. I want nothing to do with you. I'm not going to think of you. I'm not going to check for you. None of that. And this shit is so frustrating to me because that's how I live life. And I'm just assuming that other people live that way too, but they don't. And you just have to understand everybody is not like you. And I had to definitely understand everybody is not like me, bro. Everybody can't just walk away from people and shit. Like you got people that hold on to their exes. They hold on and shit. They hold on to, to, to pain from the past and shit. I'm just like, how do people do that? Because I just never, I, I could never, I could fucking never. And, and then y'all got people that are holding grudges against you simply because of your light, bro. Because of your, your fucking calling. You're anointing? Are you kidding? A lot of y'all, you haven't done a fucking thing to these people. These people that I keep picking up on that's in your life that's trying to destroy your ass, you have not done anything to them. Nothing. You don't, half of y'all don't even know these motherfuckers. It's envy. Archangel Raphael. Door to romance. Envying. Your love connections, envying your money, envying your looks, envying your gifts, envying everything about you. This shit almost makes you not even want to showcase your fucking talents or your abilities. What I said. If people knew what truly came with this path, bro, these folks would run the other fucking way, bro. Straight up. Our angel Gabriel. If people knew what truly came with this path, what came with being divine, what came with this shit, bruh, they would want nothing to do with it because they wouldn't be able to deal with it. Financial constraints. Somebody's money is fucked up and they're looking at you, mad at you because your money ain't fucked up. What I said, child. Somebody is mad with you because your money ain't fucked up. Somebody is taking some kind of action towards you as well to be deceiving. You're going to get the victory, fam. It's, it's just all about the calling over your life, bro. Shit. This is all about your calling, bro. All about. And I feel like you don't even know what it is you really want. You don't even really know what it is you want to do. You so content with your life. You good with the shit you got. What I said, fam. That's going to bring y'all feel so appreciative of things, man. And shout out to Chunky Mama. I met... Chunky mama today. Shout out to you, boo. Divine feminine masculine, bro. Y'all folks. You may not have the best clothes, bro. You may not have the best home, the best car. But 
But whatever you do, God, bro, you so grateful for it and you take good care of your things. You so grateful to the point where God is about to come and bless you in a way that you don't even see coming, man. And you got people that don't want you to see that. They don't want you to make it to his promise. They don't. They don't want you to make it, bro. Somebody is about to take some kind of action to you. That's very low vibing and deceiving. And they don't care. This person doesn't give a damn about how you feel. They just want to make sure that they can block something completely off for you. But you won't be the one broken hearted. You're going to get victory. I just see this whole plan falling the fuck apart. This shit is so sad, fam. Masculine. It's just sad. And even though y'all got entities and things like that fighting against you, bro, it's people that house these demons and shit. You dig a real skew? Like, this is your family and shit. And somebody down, mama. I'm so fucking sick of this person, bro. That shit don't make no sense. I am so sick of somebody's mother and this energy. This person really believes that they're going to live your life. They got a strategy to cut everything off in your life. They got a strategy for this. And this is simply out of envy. This, this person carries the spirit of Jezebel, of Judas. This person is a Judas. And what I don't get is how this person can't see that you're worthy of your blessings. Because they were the main one in your life causing you to lose everything. You still never talk bad on this person. You still never took no negative action toward this person. And that's why the most high God is gifting you what he's giving you. When I tell you this gift is so big, fam masculine, you gonna damn near not even want to accept it. Or accept that it's real. It could even be a person. This person right here gets up every day like clockwork and does spells on you. This person feel like they can solve everything with spell work. So that's what they do. All because they're envious of you. They just will not leave you alone. This person is refusing to leave you alone until you are codependent on them. And you don't even need this motherfucker. You never needed this person. In fact, I'm trying to remember in this energy when the fuck you ever really, re really reached out and needed this person. I can't see anything in this energy of this person actually being somebody that you could depend on. They've only brought chaos and conflict in your life. And it's the simple fact that you are so grateful, bruh. It's something about your gratitude here. It's something about your gratitude. What I said, fam, masculine, it's your gratitude. It's somebody in this energy. You have had a hard life. Life ain't so easy right now, but you don't complain. You do not complain. 
You grateful. God know you need more room. He know you pregnant, fam. Masculine, God know that your son needs some football stuff. God know that y'all renting shit, dude. God knows this stuff. But see, the thing about it is, the way that you carrying yourself through these times, that's what God is looking at. Observe at the bottom of the deck. When you down to nothing, and when they down to nothing, God saw what you did, and God saw what they did. When they didn't have nothing, they stole, they killed, they, they, they did whatever they could do. They didn't wait, they didn't work, they didn't do nothing, but you did. I'm just really needing... To understand how somebody don't feel you're worthy of something. And why the fuck do they feel like how they feel if you're worthy or not? Why the fuck do they think this matters? It is somebody every day. And I mean every day I'm so fucking tired of this person. I am so sick of this motherfucker. Somebody mama. I'm tired of this person. Co-create no place like home. A lot of y'all lost your home behind this person. Treasure Island. Whatever you lost, you will get back 50,000 times fold. What I said, fam, I'm asking it. Working the role in. This person gets up every day like it's some kind of fucking skincare routine. This bitch get up every day to bring chaos and conflict in your life. They get up every day to do a beauty spell. They get up every day to do a money spell. Every single fucking day, they get up and do the same thing over and over. And something has accumulated. Higher power, there's my dad, and I just refuse to question him. I just refuse. Building blocks. I just refuse to question my dad because I know he's watching. Observe her serendipity. Maybe it's something the most high God is wanting this person to realize. They're not realizing it, though. It's just bringing more confusion to you. This person wants you to feel like God is not there for you or something like that. But this is over. I keep hearing trial and error. This person keeps doing something over and over. They feel like they have perfected something. They feel like they got a leg up over you or something like that. This new life, they, they're wondering why it's you that deserves it. They, they, they want to know why God always shows up with a blessing for you and not for them. They're steadily being ungrateful for the shit God has truly blessed them with. And they're, they're, they're looking into your life trying to figure out what blessings are coming for you next so that they can block it for you. Because they know that they don't have any blessings coming. But this is why they don't have any blessings coming. They're too busy worrying about you. It's a blessing just simply to be at peace. And that's the truth rule. And this person is trying to disrupt your peace. If you got nothing, you got God. And that's enough for a lot of y'all. What I said and me too. This person wants to disrupt that. They don't even want you to have God, child. What I said. This person doesn't want you to have anything. I don't know if you understand what I mean by this person doesn't want you to have anything. But they don't want you to have anything. Especially no love. That's why you can't never tell this person who you're dating or anything like that, what you're trying to do. You can't tell this person any of that because it's going to come to a complete end and very quickly. As soon as you telling them, you, before you get off the phone, this person is encanting some shit. They're setting up some kind of intention to ruin it. Mindy. Just, just make sure you stay in line for your blessings, fam, masculine. Because there's a change coming here. It's inevitable. It's a faded event. This person is so 
focused and fixated on you and your life and why God and this and the other, but they're not trying to figure out what it is that they should be doing here. This person, by the time they looked up, they 70, 80 years old and they have done nothing with their life. So now they're trying to rewind time by stealing your life from you. Every ounce of anything that this person has, they put in the effort to destroy your life when they could be doing something else. This person is definitely in the shadows manipulating something so you won't have a new beginning. You may not even be speaking to this person at the moment, but you will be the victor. You will win, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get your relationship, all of that. It seems like this person is trying to manipulate time or something. Like they're trying to constantly have things happen to you so that you're pushed further back, further back from this love or something like that. This person wants you to be old and gray by the time you meet someone. They don't want you to enjoy your life at all. Every single day that you get up, you're grateful for life. Even though, you know, every day is not just superb, but it's a great day, you know. It's not saying every single day you're just going to meet a great person or you're going to get some great news or something like that. But every day is a great day. Above ground, it's a great day. You dig a They partnered with somebody. This person's intuition is flawed. They don't have any spiritual... Wish fulfillment, rest and rejuvenate fell on the floor. This this person, they don't have anything to do. It's something about gratitude. It's something about you showing gratitude, about you just being grateful, bro. Because when you truly are grateful, you what? You exhibit gratitude. I feel like somebody is in your energy. This person wants you to prove to them. They they think they're God or something. They want you to prove to them that you deserve to have peace. Shadow in the reverse. Choose wisely reverse. They don't know anything but conflict. Nothing ever goes right for this person. And they're absolutely in fear of you. These, these people really be scared of y'all. That's why they do shit in the background. They throw the rock and hide they fucking hand. Because if you had any idea who exactly who this was, you would annihilate this person where they stand. And you wouldn't even have to touch this motherfucker. They're suffering in silence here. Because some kind of material harvest is not for them. So they want to block you from it. But how can they block you from something that you clearly work for? The most high God don't trick nobody out. They work hours, baby. God gonna definitely pay you what he feel you need, what, he, what, what you deserve for your work. Somebody wants you to put in all this work and not get paid. Accelerated motion. They want you to feel like you wasted your time. Look, it's the bottom of the deck. Somebody named Isaiah or Isaac. Intuitively, you already know this. <clears throat> a lot of y'all don't even have to do anything or say anything. Patience and planning reverse. This person is running out of time to sacrifice you. But see, they can't make any moves because it's like you're not here or something. Like you're not around. So they can't do this. Whatever it is that they're attempting or whatever they want for you. Whatever this badass, tragic shit that they want to happen to you. This, this person wants something very tragic to happen to you so that you have to depend on them. They want you solely dependent on them. This person does not want you to have a husband, a wife, or anything like that, a significant other. It's really because of love. They don't want you to grow old with someone. They want you to be old as hell. They want time to go by before you find love or something. Stand your ground, rest and rejuvenate. This person is strategically doing this. They do it every day. They've been doing this every day without your knowledge. So 
So that's why something may have been affecting you. But when you are aware of something, then this, this shit completely is null and void. What I say, fam, I say, love begins. You're going to have to stand your ground to this energy because, I mean, you're going to either keep letting this person do this shit or you're going to walk in your path because a lot of this shit is mental. This person sends mental conflict spells at you so that you will not know what moves to make. You just have to know what energy is yours and what energy is not. You dig a real skill? Like, when you're in energy that ain't yours, you need to immediately get the fuck up out of it because it ain't yours. What I'm telling you is this person, your mother, is. this is the person that's sending it to you. This person is trying to cause you to have bad health. And I mean bad health to the point where you have to lean on them like they're your caretaker or something. This person has a real problem with being needed. But you don't need them. It's a lot of heart attack spells here. I heard a sudden death. We're going to rebuke that in Jesus' name. This person wants you to have a sudden death. They, they, they feel like if you're not going to lean on them or come towards them, that you don't need to be alive at all. If they can't use you, if they can't benefit off of you, then you are not beneficial at all to anybody. This is very sick. But hey, God keep letting this person get away with it. So, I mean, he obviously got another plan here. That's all I can say about it. Yep. This person wants to bring a death to everything in your life, especially marriage. They do not want you married. It's something about marriage. I know I was speaking about this in that reading earlier. They want to bring a death to your whole entire path. They want you going the wrong way. It's like you're on your path already. And whoever this unofficial motherfucker is in your family, this old bitch that I already know who this is, this this person here, they they are going to make sure that you never get married or anything like that. They're gonna make sure of this with spells. They're gonna use spell work every day. Sudden wealth. They also don't want you in the community. I told you it's this old bitch. They don't want you in the community. They don't want you to be seen or heard or anything like that. I'm hearing you're my little secret. Who is that by? Is that escape? Yeah, they don't want you anywhere near this lucky man. They don't want you in the community because that's how you gonna meet this person or something. Yeah, I told you. They want you sick, bedridden. That's not what the hell is gonna happen. Something is about to happen abruptly to this old hoe. She's not expecting this. It's like this, this person does not know who the fuck they are. They don't because they're too busy trying to be you for one. And they they literally, they've never had an identity. Like you probably can't find any pictures of this motherfucker. Like their high school photos or any, like you won't find any photos from back in the day of this person. They don't have an identity, literally. But it's somebody that knows some real deep, dark shit about this person. Somebody knows who this person really is. Whether they're your mom or not, you don't know this person at all, honey. Yeah, this, this person is going to make sure you don't have anything. And they're, they're like I said, they're using spell work to do it, to cause an injustice, to bring a death to everything around you, to make you walk away or make people walk away from this Queen of Cups here. We, I mean, whatever the case may be, this person is going to make sure, they're going to make sure that you miss out on everything because they don't have anything. This person is literally trying to cause death to everything around you. What's the will of fortune? Three of cups. 
this person, like they act like they're a people person, but they're truly not. This person is a damn shapeshifter. What's the three of cups? I'm telling you, this is what this person wants for you. Death. What's the death card? The moon. What's the moon? The two of swords. You already know this. You're protecting yourself from this person. Or there's a need to. It's like, don't play with fire in a situation like this. You already know what this person is doing. It's best for you to just stay away from them. Yeah. Something that was yours from way back in the day. This person is not going to stop. They're going to keep going. And it seems like they're being allowed to do this. So I don't know. You need to up your protection. It seems like this person is literally being allowed to get away with this. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. I don't know what you did to this person. I don't feel like you did anything to them. But this person is being allowed to do this to you. Maybe it's for a greater purpose. Like I said, Five of Pentacles, Hermit, Virgo, Energy, Cancer, the Chariot. <clears throat> this Queen of Wands is blocking you from everything <clears throat> with magic, and that's the truth. But it's like they're being allowed to do it. They're being allowed to do it just so that you can get the victory. Yep, Knight of Wands. Maybe it's something that this person has to realize about themselves. I don't know. But it's you that's going to be victorious. It's all about money. It's all about you not being able to get your hands on something. This person has completely changed the outcome in your life. This is somebody's mom. Like they went in and they purposely sabotaged something, but it's about to come back around or something. They did this in the past. They did this in the past and they're doing the same thing again. It's like history repeating itself. Maybe you didn't know. I don't feel like you were as enlightened as you are now, but that's why I keep telling y'all to keep going because you can't do nothing but keep going, right? Just to see what God going to do. Because trust me, he's doing something. He's moving, baby. Trust that. He's definitely moving. A lot of you all are just, you know, being asked to be still and give something to him. Because there's something here that you just cannot fight. And I know I said that before. It's like you cannot fight what it is that you can't see. But a lot of y'all, you see clearly what this is. You just have to choose your weapon. You're not confused about who this is, where this is, what this is, whatever. You're not confused about it at all. Or there's no need to be. Yeah, I told you this person's a fucking thief. They're going to make sure <clears throat> that they take everything from you. Because you're not going to conform to them. <clears throat> because you're not going to dim yourself down. You're not going to dumb yourself down, sorry, or dim your light for this motherfucking fool. You're not going to do that. So they're coming in to steal from you once again. This, this is all this person knows how to do. Your light irritates their demon. When I tell you God going to move so crazy, it's like, it seems like he's going to show up at the last minute or something to do something. Because this is an impersonator that has been moving in silence in your energy. I'm just trying to tell you, this person has literally been in the mirror, like acting like they're you. They've been telling themselves that they're you. Like, this is some kind of mirror magic or something. Like, this person definitely is weird as hell. And this is something that they feel like they should have done a long time ago. This person feels like they done found a quick solution to be 
abundant or something. They like, dang, I should have thought of this a long time ago. I should have been trying to be this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. I should have been, you know, attempted this stupid shit. I should have been doing mirror magic on them to make me them and them me. I should have done this a long time ago. I'm going to, I'm going to take their husband. I'm going to marry the person that they are supposed to marry. I'm going to make this person, I'm going to do spell work on everybody to make them view me as young and vibrant and full of light. Tripping on you. You're not blocked though. This person is sending you nightmares as well. This person has done a lot. And it's like they're doing all of this for a reason. Oh, trust me, it's all for a reason. This person ain't stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. They also may be trying to get you locked up. They're playing games, stalking you and shit. But they're going to be crying soon. Trust that. Because it'll be them going to jail. This person been doing some illegal shit. You're not going to jail. You haven't done nothing to go to jail for. Like I said, God is moving. And I feel like you're moving too. And this person is very smart. They're, they're, they're moving very smart, very strategically. I feel like you need to just remain close to the most high because whatever this is, you fighting, baby. You can't fight this on your own. God got something for you simply because you're grateful. This person definitely, like I said, neglected you as a child. They definitely did. And now that you are grown up, they want to be you. But it's something about your suffering. Something about the uh, something about when you were suffering, how you show gratitude and or how you survived. What I said, fam, Maslin. How you persevered through some God watch, and God watch these people too. While you were going through this struggle or whatever, God saw how these people treated you as well. You dig a rich kill? What else is here, Dad? Thank you very much for the messages. This person is so, when I tell you this person is so goddamn determined to be you, it doesn't make any sense. And a lot of y'all, this is your fucking mom. I keep telling you that. Drama starter. This is not nobody that, you know, you got beef with. I mean, I feel like bitches don't like you. Niggas don't like you. I, I feel like you got some people in your energy that really don't like you. And some people may want to be you, but these people are not waking up every single day with a vengeance to be you. This is this is your mother doing this. This is somebody's mom. After a while, bitches will give up. Like nobody wants to be you that bad. Your mother does. I'm trying to tell you who this person is. Maybe this keeps coming up for a reason because I know this is the second time today this has came up. This person is refusing to walk in their life purpose. They're refusing. They are convinced that they are you. They are convinced. I told you it's something about your beauty. They're doing spells on your looks and things like that. They want you to look a certain kind of way. <laughs> like they they, they want to turn you into them. Like you can be 25 years old, but they want you to look 65. They want to be 65 and look 25. Have the health of a 25 year old. You dig a rich you. And not saying that people that 65 and healthy. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. This person is pissed off because you're independent. You don't need them. I seen 33, 33. This person really wants you to be codependent. You're still manifesting though. You're still gonna move forward. I feel like this person has done a lot of fucked up shit to you. Like you got a lot of scars from what this person has done. 33, 55, I seen arguments. You got a lot of, of, of <clears throat> excuse me, you got a lot of scars from battle that your own mother put you in, <clears throat> but you'll be just fine. You got new love here. That's what this person wants to block. They want, they, they want it to be them instead of you. They really want people to view you as your mom or your mom as you or something like that. Like this person is trying to swap lives with you. For a lot of y'all, this destiny swap energy is not your sister or a karmic bitch that your ex fuck with. No, it's your mother. 
this keeps coming up for a reason. Somebody is just really not understanding that their mom is the one that's doing this shit. Maybe it's something that you can do about it. This one. Yep. Use your discernment. Confide in a trusted friend, which is Jesus. What I said, child. Keep secret. Keep silent about knowledge. Sorry. So you definitely can't tell this person a fucking thing. I'm telling you. It's like your legacy is here, but this person is right here. They're trying to attach themselves along with your path. They want to go on your adventure with you and block you from receiving anything. They tag along. This is some tag along ass energy that this person has. They want to tag along and, and, and make sure that they block your wish fulfillment from coming in. This person is determined to do this shit. What's the outcome here? Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. Ten of Cups reverse. Justice in the reverse. I'm just picking up that this person is going to be allowed to do this, whatever this is. But it's only to, like, you're being used to set this person up or something. And I know it sucks, man, masculine, but, you know, just don't ever get out your body. Always know who you are. That's the ace of swords, true. Always know who the fuck you are because this person is not you, the Hierophant. God is going to step in. Seem like at the last minute. I feel don't give up faith because when your enemy is your mother, that's kind of different. You dig a Because in the Bible, it says, honor your mother and your father for your days will be longer, right? This person is trying to cause your death. Your own mother is doing this. So they made a horrible investment. Whatever they invested in is not going to work that way. But they're being allowed to do certain things. So you may take hits. Like things may end abruptly or whatever the case may be. But it's only because things are lining up. So I'm only here to forewarn you what I'm feeling like and what I'm saying. Bro. Somebody mama is really out to destroy them. And this person is not going to rest. They're never going to rest because they're wicked, but they're not going to rest until they get some kind of result that they're looking for, which is to be you, to have all of your abundance, to have all of your gifts. That's not ever going to happen. This person is like, well, I gave birth to them. Where are my gifts? Where's my abundance? They didn't do right by you. This person didn't give a fuck about you and they still, um, they don't. Like, you can tell in this energy, somebody named Darius or Darian, you can tell the energy that this person holds that they never gave a fuck and they don't give a fuck now. They, this person right here is getting away with shit simply because they're your mom. And then you have to respect this person, right? You have to honor this person. Or you going to be getting your shit. What I said, child. So whatever this is, you have to let God deal with it because it's like really nothing you can do. This is your mom. Okay, I hope this helps you. Remember that God loves you and so do I.